Hello. Hey, guys. Uh, so today we are going to learn about angle relationships involving triangles. Uh, so what that means is you will see a triangle and you will have to find out either the measurement of one of the degrees of the angles of the triangle or find out what X is. And we're going to go over what that looks like here in a few. We've got four example problems. But before we get started, a couple key things that you need to know. And you should be writing this down in your notes uh, that all triangles are 180 degrees. That doesn't matter what type of triangle it is. Just know that all triangles, all objects with three sides are 180 degrees. What we're going to do, uh, we are going to set all equations equal to 180 degrees. So if you see a triangle on, on the test, you know that we're going to make an equation and we're going to set it equal to 180. And, how we, and what we're going to do is we're going to take... All of the angles we're going to write down that we're going to add them all together then we will combine like terms and set it equal to 180 and we solve like an equation so what that looks like and these are going to get progressively harder as we go on it's going to look something like this we're going to not only going to solve for x but we're going to find the measurement of each angle so uh, a key thing here to remember do not forget that this symbol down here means if you see that right angle symbol, that means it's a right angle and all right angles are 90 degrees. You're supposed to know that. So what we're gonna do, we have a triangle. We're gonna have to find the, the value of X and the measurement of each angle. We already know two of the angles. So really all we have to figure out is what the measurement of this angle is. And we're gonna set this equal to 180. So we've got three angles. Let's call this angle A. Let's call this angle B. Let's call this angle C. We're going to add all three of those angles together. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C. We know it equals 180 degrees. So what is angle A? What is the only thing I've got written in angle A? Well, I know that it is 2x. Angle B I know is 90 degrees. And angle C, I know, is 40 degrees, and that equals 180. And now what I've got is I have an equation. <clears throat> so to make it look a little bit more friendly, I'm going to combine like terms. I've got two x's here. I can't combine an x with uh, integers, but I can combine a 90 and a 40. So what 90 and 40 make when I combine them is I get 130. So bring everything else down. 2x plus 130 equals 180. And now I've got myself a two-step equation, which you guys have been solving uh, since before Thanksgiving break. So I want to solve for x, get my variable by itself. So we move over the 130. I see addition. I'm going to subtract the 0 out. I'm left with 2x equals... 50, and I still want to get my variable by itself. My 2 and my x are multiplying, so I have to divide by 2. These 1 out, x equals 25. So now I know that my x, the value of x is 25 degrees. But if I go to angle A, what is the measurement of angle A? All I did was find what the value of x was. But angle A is 2x. So I'm going to take... 25 degrees and substitute it with x. So 2 times 25 gives me 50 degrees. So angle A, this is the symbol for angle, angle A equals 50 degrees. X is 25 degrees, angle A is 50 degrees. Let's move on to example number two. And if you want to pause it and try and see if you can figure this one out on your, on your own, be my guess. So once again, we have a triangle. Therefore, I know it equals 180 degrees. So what equals 180 degrees? Well, the combination of angle A, angle B, and angle C. So A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. And I'm going to substitute what the measurements for these angles are or what I'm given. 
I'm given angle A is X minus 10. Angle B, I'm going to add it with angle B, which is 95 degrees. And angle C, add that in there, it is 50 degrees. All that equals 180. So I'm going to combine my like terms. I can combine a negative 10, a 95, and a 50. Let's do just one of those first. Negative 10 and 95. They have different signs. So I subtract. I'm left with 85. And I take the sign of the bigger number. 95 is bigger. So 95 and negative 10 is positive 85. Plus 50 gives me 95, 15, 135. Bring down my X, and I've got X plus 135 equals 180. This is an easy one-step equation. So I want to get my X by itself. So i got to move my 135 to the other side. Subtract 135 from both sides. These zero out. And I get X is equal to 45. So X is 45 degrees, but that is not the measurement of angle A. Angle A is X minus 10. So I will take the value I got for X, which was 45 degrees, subtract 10, and I get 35. So here we have X is 45 degrees, but angle A is actually 30 five degrees. So we're going to have to be careful on what the problem is asking. Is the problem going to be asking you to find the measurement of the missing angle or just find the value of X? That's what you need to be aware of. If it says you need to find the missing angle, then you may need to do those extra steps. We have two more. Example three. So before, if you want, if you want to do this on your own, you can pause it. But before you start, just remember all triangles set equal to 180. And just add each of the angles together. It doesn't matter what they are. Start with writing it down, and then we can go from there. We'll call this one angle A. We'll call this angle B. And we'll call this one down here angle C. So just remember, we add all the angles. Angle A plus angle B plus angle angle C always equal 180. And let's substitute what they are. Angle A is 50 degrees. Angle B is 60 degrees. And angle C is 4X minus 60. All that equals 180. So we're going to combine our like terms. We can combine all of our integers. Oh, one second. So let's go ahead and make this easy. We, we can combine a positive 60 and a negative 60. Well, that equals zero. They cancel each other out. And then we can bring down the other 50. So 50 plus zero gives me 50. And then I've got this 4x that I can't combine with anything. So 50 plus 4x equals 180 degrees, and I've got a two-step equation. Remember, I want to get my variable by itself. So let's move this 50 to the other side. We see a positive 50, so we want to do the inverse, which is subtract 50. These zero out. I'm left with 4x on this side equals 180 minus 50, which is 130. And my last step is to take this 4 and move it to the other side through division because our 4 and the x are multiplying. So we divide both sides by 4. And 130 divided by 4 gives me 32.5. So x equals 32.5 degrees. But don't forget, that is what x equals. That is not necessarily the measurement of the angle. To find the measurement of the angle, we have to substitute that 32.5 for this variable x. So I'm going to do the work over to the left-hand side. 
So four, and then instead of X times 32.5, and then subtract 60 to find the measurement of angle C. Four times 32.5 is 130 minus, bring down the minus 60, and 130 minus 60 gives me 70 degrees. So X is 32.5 and angle C is 70 degrees. Once again, be careful with what the question is asking you, if it's asking for the angle or if it's asking for just the measurement of X. We have one more. All right, triangle, we'll call this one angle A. Let me get it in blue. You can pause if you want to try and solve it on your own. But we have angle A, angle B, and angle C. So A plus B plus C is going to give us our total of 180 degrees. And let's substitute what each of these angles are. Angle A we have as X. Angle B we have 2X plus 3. And angle C... Remember, this sign, this signal, this 90-degree marker means 90 degrees is 90 degrees, and we all that equals 180. So this one's a little different because we have X is here and an X over here. So we will combine like terms. X plus 2X equals 3X, and 3 plus 90 gives us positive 93 we're going to set that equal to 180 and solve our two-step equation like we know how to do by getting the x by itself. So first, we're going to move the 93. And 180 minus 93 gives us 87. Bring down the 3x. Oh, let's go ahead and let's, let's show it. So we subtract 93 on both sides. These zero out. And I'm left with 3x equals 87. And I still want to get an x by itself. So I got to move the 3. The 3 and the x show multiplication. So I do the inverse and divide. These one out. And I get x equals 29. So x is 29, but that is not necessarily the measurement of angle B. Well, But if x is 29 and a is just x, then I know angle A equals 29 degrees. I know angle C is already 90 because it's given to me. So now I need to find angle B. Angle B says 2x plus 3, but instead of x, I'm going to plug in what I got for x, which is 29. So 2 times 29 plus 3, and 2 times 29 is 58, plus 3 gives me 61, 61. So angle B is 61 degrees. So here are all three of the different measurements. Angle A is 29 degrees. Angle B is 61 degrees. And the value of X was 29. And angle C, I know, is 90 degrees. It's given to me. Hopefully this video helped. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email us. Have a good day.